Let's finish up example seven in section six three. So now we're gonna look at the highest 1% of cupcakes. This is kind of like when people talk about the top 1% of income earners. So we're looking at the top 1% of cupcakes and how many calories do they have? So we know the percent, which means we know area. The highest makes me think it's to the right side. So area to the right is 0.01 for 1%. So it's gonna be just a tiny little tail, right? These are like the top 1% earners. So the top 1% cupcakes are the most decadent filling cupcakes, right? Because they have the most calories. So then area to the right, to the left would be 0.99 because that's how much is left over. And we'll just follow the same pattern. So we'll do inverse norm to find the z-score because again, we're going backwards. And it'll be area to the left, 0.99. Inverse norm of 0.99, and I get a z-score of 2.326. And then this is z-score, though, so we need to standardize it. So x is mu plus z sigma, and we're still looking at cupcake data. So that mean was 300 plus 2.326, and then standard deviation was 17.15. That'll be given to us for now. And I get 339.9 calories. So those are like the really decadent high calorie cupcakes. And then the last thing we want to look at is sometimes in-betweens are more interesting. So we'll use the empirical rule and then we'll use the calculator on the last one. So the empirical rule told us one standard deviation was 68%. So probability that the mean minus sigma, um, that x is in between mean minus sigma and mu plus sigma in between one standard deviation was 0.6827 to be exact, right? Or a pro yeah, we'll just do the exact numbers now. Two standard deviations, so x is in between mu minus two sigma or plus two sigma, we got 0.9545. We derived these a couple videos ago. And then mu minus three sigma, mu plus three sigma, the probability that x is in between is 0.9973. So we're going to use that information to find the middle 95.45% of all cupcakes. So this empirical rule tells me that it's in between two standard deviations. So we're just basically going to, it's basically the same as the expected range actually. So we have the middle 95.45. And we don't need to find the z-score. The z-score is 2 and negative 2. That's from the empirical rule. So we're just going to do the mean, plus or minus, plus or minus, because there's two z-scores, 2 sigma. Right. And I got the 2 from the empirical rule. So that number will change in example E. So we're going to take the mean, which was 300. We're going to add and subtract 2. So that's, again, taking care of the negative z-score and the positive z-score times the mean of 17.15, standard deviation of 17.15. So the middle 95.45% of cupcakes will be in between 300 minus 2 times 17.15 to 65.7. And 300 plus 2 times 17.15, 334 calories, 0.3, right? This is the same as expected range. The reason this was expected range is, right, 95.45% is in that range. So we expect most to actually be in that range. Um, but I can change the percent. So let's see what happens when I change it to 90. So the middle 90%. So because it says middle, I'm going to shade the middle and not the tails. So 0.90 in the middle of all cupcakes are between blank and blank calories. So now we need to find the z-score. The empirical rule does not tell me the z-score. So I'm going to figure out each tail. So I think I get 05 in each side because there's 10 left over. We want them all to add up to 1. So 5 plus 5 plus 90 gives me 100%. And what's cool is we only have to find one z-score. So let's see. Let's find z. 
inverse norm, area to the left is 0 0.05, so I'll do this one first. All right, so second distribution, inverse norm, 0 0.05 and we get negative 1.645. And so we might be catching on from this section. The other one is actually just gonna be the same z-score, but positive, um, thanks to symmetry. It's nice and symmetric. But if you weren't sure, you would do second distribution, inverse norm, and then you would just do 0.95 for the 05 and the 90 combined. But you're wasting your time. Take advantage of symmetry. So positive 1.645. And then we'll use that same destandardizing formula, but now instead of two, we use 1.645. So it's the mean plus z times sigma, so 300. And in this case, the plus or minus is because we have two z-scores, 1.645 times 17.15. Oops, wrong thing. And we'll plug that in and then we'll be done. It's a long section. Thanks for sticking through. So 300 minus 1.645 times 17.15 gives me 271, and we'll round to 271.8. And then up to, we'll do 300 plus 1.645 times 17.15, and we get 328.2. So the middle 90% of cupcakes will be between 271.8 and 328.2.